and I run it. And I run it. And I run it. And I run it. That's I run it. Yo, what's up? I'm here at West Coast Creations. What's, what's up with you guys? What's up? What's up? Peace. What up, what up? My name's Patrick Antonian. So up? I'm Monstro, the MC Stro, one of the graffiti artists. And I'm Mr. CR. That's M I S T E R C R. We West Coast Creations, West baby. Coast what's up with you? Shit. So, so when did you guys first uh, start making music as a group together? Shit, we've been we've been working uh, uh, for about five years together, probably. You know, me and Stro been working for about what three, four years. Yeah, about three, four years. We we are yeah, individual artists came but we in come together years. though. Yeah, yeah we I'm, all I'm kind of have our own thing. I'm the new guy. The new, the new this is only Mr. Cr from we, I met him years ago. Before yeah. I into the fall. Project Flow, yeah. Good Life, and all that shit. Yeah. So how'd you guys all uh, how'd you guys all link up and like kind of meet each other like and everything? Shit, um, we got a we got a crew, of West Coast Creations. You know what I mean? You got Johnny Dopey. DJ Merck 1200, Paul, so everybody kind of seven degrees of separation. Each person kind of knows someone, and we just bring all our resources yeah. together and do that shit. Got a lot of things in common, a lot of things in common, like we broke. The dopey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we working, we love music, and we broke. So we out here working and shit. Yeah, just so that's that, being the fact that we love music and we broke, that should just let you know the Nagar shit bang, because we can be driving. <laughs> home. point to yeah. out here, boy. Yeah. Ain't, so, no, ain't nobody playing with this shit, shit, just shit straight up. Naturally connected like that, you know what I mean? So we're all hungry, we all trying to make some fire shit, and the synergy of the music and the shows just came together. And wow, we've just been working ever since. What was your guys' inspiration for wanting to like make music in the first place? Shit, music itself for me. I mean, I grew up in a household with music, so you know, moms and pops always played a. A lot of old shit, like dope R and B. Yeah. You know like what? what? Me myself, my so, mom just keep a cabinet stacks of forty fives and yeah. it's just all kind of old Motown stuff. Stevie Wonder, uh, with Richard yeah. Pryor's album, all kind of different genres of soul music. Mixed shit. in, yeah. yeah. My mom was big Luther Vandross fan. My dad played a lot of opera and weird other shit too. So, yeah, and we, then all the classics kind of mixed in. Well, what, what, what inspired me to get in this music shit? You know, I'm an old guy, right? So years ago, man, you know I me. Mean? Uh, uh, when I was a youngster, uh, they gave me a clock radio. So you know, when you're a youngster, you you like to experiment with shit. So I'm like, this clock radio is playing and shit. So I used to fuck around with the FM AM. I noticed the majority of stations was on FM, but wasn't too much shit was static on AM. When I turned that dial all the way to the motherfucking end, nigga, I heard uh, uh, somebody say, yeah, the guy was like, uh, a bitch is a bitch. Blunt the blunt bitch. I talked to her in the exact same pitch. Now the title bitch don't apply to all women, but all women have a little bitch in them. It's like a disease that plays their character, taking the women of America. And it starts like the le with the letter B. It makes a girl like that think she's better than me. That was Ice Cube. And I was like, nigga, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's exactly what I want to do. Nigga, I have to be like in elementary school. Yeah. When I heard that, I was like, That's "Shout out Q! Q, Q, Q was my favorite rapper when I was ten. When I was ten, Q was my favorite rapper and shit. That's made me want to rap. I want to do rap. That nigga got a Jerry girl. That nigga said, "You look a little young, but shit, at that age, yeah, ten years old. I mean, so you guys all kind of grow up in LA or what? I'm an LA native. I grew up in the Crenshaw district on Vernon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grew up in the Crenshaw district. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm uh, I'm originally from Lebanon, you know, born overseas and shit. My family came over here when we were two. I'm Armenian, Lebanese, Armenian, moved into Hollywood and shit. And then, you know, soon after moved into Reseda. How did you guys say your uh, experience was growing up around here? Around my area? I love it, shit. Uh, check it out, I grew yeah, up in, like, general, uh, or? in the graffiti scene, but we had to like, you know, I, I grew up in a culture that's kind of gang banging, bratty little cousin and shit. You know what I'm saying? We grew up tag banging and writing on shit. A lot of a lot of people graduated the sets. You know what I'm saying? There was a yeah. lot of bad influences and good influences in the area, but I love them all the same. Yeah, hell yeah. I feel like I'm it makes me who I am, shit, for sure. Like mm -hmm. you deal with like, you know what I mean? We saw the positive shit and the hip hop and the break dancing, but you also saw the street shit, you know what I mean? I saw so, the ninety two riots. I was in that motherfucker. It's a straight it's a good <laughs> balance, yeah. Yeah. So you guys are all individual artists, but you guys have songs all three together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's yeah. your guys' favorite song that you guys made, in your opinion? Well, we got a project coming out, me and Mr. CR, Patrick Sloan, one of the songs called Manual That's Labor 2. Yeah. It's produced by Broadway. That's the latest. Respect Broadway. Yeah, but we got a lot of, a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. We, got, we got one right now, man. Um, um, Patrick Antonio got one called Jason Voorhees. 
Yeah. So you check out Jason out everywhere. Everywhere. That's Wait, a banger. Yeah, got an official what? video. Shout out to Hectic. Made DJ the beat Hectic. on that shit. And yeah. we got, and then me and Maestro then linked up with the guy from Wu Tang Clan. The guy named uh, he put what he spoke. Uh, 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 Wu Tang Clan affiliated. Yeah. Killer yeah. Priest. Killer Priest. Yeah. Called uh, Detonator. 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 Yeah, that's produced by Maestro. That's Peter that West Coast Creation shit. Killer Priest is out everywhere. Shout out Wu. Yeah. Is there a date on your new tape coming out? Not yet. Uh, it's in the works. Uh, yeah, it's in the works. Not not any official dates, but everything is getting close to the boiling point at this right now. So. Well, we got projects West Coast coming Creation out, got a lot of shit coming out. Collectively, we drop shit all the time, like singles. I'm, I'm working with Jism High Definition on some shit. I'm working with uh, some cats in Arizona, Toast of the Gifted. Shout out Tay the Crown, Bobby yeah. Negro, ATM, Boogie Bryant, Boogie B. You know what I'm saying? Boogie Bryant. You know, then, got a lot of shit coming out. But then also too, with West Coast Creations as a collective, we got a thing called a three by three, which we release three singles at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just got one just released right now. It's a song called uh, Born Center. Also got Last Laugh and motherfucking Bad Bitch. Now niggas be like, Bad Bitch, what the fuck is that one shit? Dude, you gotta watch that shit. <laughs> Go look up. Watch that video out right bitch. now. Shout it's some of some MC shit. Yeah. And it's a dope, it's a dope song and video. And then, I West got the, yeah. so, and then I got the 3x3 three three coming out with Medusa. Shout out Medusa. That's the next one that I'm doing. And uh, the 3x3 three three is just a whole dope chain. There's a lot of them. So it's 3x3. Three three. Go check them all out. There's a whole ton yeah, of them. 3x3. That's what they look like. 3x3. Three three. Yeah. Just type our, each one of our names in and then type in 3x3. Three three. Yeah. So uh, being in the game for so long, like, what's one of the most important things you guys learned? I could say me. The the, the the thing that's been working for me, as far as being in the game all these years, is consistency. Never stopping, putting shit out. Now niggas be like, quality over quantity, nigga. I'll make sure everything I put out is quality. Right. It ain't nigga. When you uh, you pick whichever, just type in M I S T E R C R and just pick one. You know what I mean? And you're gonna like it. It's gonna make you wanna listen to something else or something else or something else. So for me, it's consistency. I get a lot from both of these guys, like, respect their work ethic. You know what I'm saying? But um, and what's important to me is is understanding how the change of the shit goes. Like, it's very different from back in the days. So you have to be up on what's current without compromising your artistic standards, right? Yeah, you gotta absolutely. build your audience. You gotta get with this uh, internet shit. You know, I come from the days where it was hand to hand. You know what I'm saying? Tapes, CDs, you know what I'm saying? You have to be aware on this technology shit because the shit is moving at the speed of light. You know? Yeah, hell yeah. Do you feel like it was yeah. easier back then to promote than it is now or kind nah, of harder? It's, it's easier now. Yeah. yeah it's easier yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, definitely easier now. Well, yeah, and plus it's a difference. Like back then it was word of mouth, but it was a lot more places you could go to get your name out there. So, but it, it just transitioned into a different time. You just yeah. built, you just hey, it's, all, it's a lot of it is the same shit. shit too. It's like, like it's there, but we, we, you know, for me, I go off my gut. You know what I mean? That's the thing that I think I learned the most is usually, whether it's a business decision or a song idea or a vibe or, you know what I'm saying? Like doing certain promotions with the technology stuff is, just go go with your gut feeling what you feel is right you know a lot and of just, times and don't give a fuck right shit. yeah and yeah, don't, and give, don't, a don't fuck. give a fuck you can't give a fuck with yeah, nobody real shit, nigga as long as when I come that. out this studio as long as I like this shit, shit I don't give a fuck what you think nigga yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't give yeah. a fuck cause you're back in the we used to always be like when me and my buddy used to always talk man these niggas be having all these opinions man fuck your opinion we gonna do I'm gonna do my shit as long as I leave out the studio when that shit started cool then that's what we gonna work with, and I'm fuck, I'm gonna gravitate. Yeah, to, gang, you don't gang, like my shit, camera, fuck bro. you. But I'm gonna gravitate to the motherfuckers that do like my shit, and I'm gonna that, try to make that, that shit that's grow. Real that's, shit that, that, that's real yeah, shit. That's real shit. Yeah. 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 Fuck so, that. So, when you first started making music, would you say I'm people were supportive or not really at first? Huh? Were people supportive of your music at first or not really? Yeah, uh, shit. I mean, for me, definitely, dog. Like from the beginning, I feel like there was a cool support system. People believed in my shit. It was like close family and friends. But we did it for the love and. You know, we all believed in each other, like the homie that made beats or the other homie that rapped. So. I grew up and I came into this music shit, getting into music in a kind of a Shark Tank environment known as Project Blow. Yeah, yeah. And it was like right. everybody was dope around and shit. And you really had yeah, to elbow your shit. We got school of rap. You know what this mean? is LA. If you're yeah, an LA yeah, MC, motherfucker, you diss you, but it's gotta be a step to come back next week point, hard. You know what I mean? That was at a time too when niggas was selling CDs. It, it, it's, it's been times I done had accounts where I was trying to sell CDs. Way and back. Like, have you ever been to Project Love? I'm like, yeah. history, oh, you yeah, know, if you would have told me no, I wasn't gonna buy your shit. That it was, it was that serious back then, yeah, boy. 
And, and, and people in the industry the brought shit. people shit. into Project Real Blow shit. to, to mama, bring them into the environment, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, and test them out. And nigga, we like a rap gang! People next door like, what the fuck you got the goons, you got the goons today, You feel like it's hard to come up like an LA's artist, or is it kind of like easy? Nah, it's, it's more, everybody in LA is an artist. Everybody, yeah. everybody is, like is right. overnight artist, but exactly. the quality is different. Everybody ain't good. Everybody ain't good. That's why we put them all flow up. That's what's that's what's that's I ain't letting that shit discourage me at all, but yeah, everybody talent ain't good. will only get you so far. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of motherfuckers yeah, who but, coattail ride out here, and if you had a right uh, approval on your name, then that shit boosts your shit, but that don't mean shit to me. Cause I'm gonna keep pushing my shit. Yeah, you gotta push your shit, especially if you better than all these niggas. I feel like we better than all these niggas, so I don't give a yeah. fuck when none of these niggas think. We just gotta keep going and don't give up. That don't point. give up and that keep point. going. Especially if you know your shit better. It's it's a better, for me, in my opinion, it's a better time now. Cause all these niggas garbage. So when I be going to these shows, when they be getting, like just when these niggas be opening that, selling right. tickets and all that, I be feeling like a pit bull walking into a gate full of fools. <laughs> I be telling bitches like this, I'm like, first of all, why would you buy a dog that can't even beat up a cat? Ooh. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Cause all these niggas is dogs that can't beat up a cat. And I'm still that old janky ass junkyard dog in the pit bull, the rapping version. Ready to come up in there and tear that motherfuckers up as soon as they crack the gate open. Nigga drinking little shit, gonna get let me off the chain, nigga. I'm gonna grab one of these, I'm gonna grab a mic, and I'm gonna fuck one of these niggas over <laughs> with the music. That's how you supposed to feel. Nigga, block the shot at the rim. If that ain't in you, then what the fuck is you doing it for? Mm -hmm. Nigga? Right. So I'm taking this shit. Mm -hmm. We take this West Real Coast creations, nigga. Real shit. Straight up. Are you guys strictly like uh, West Coast style music, or do you guys do any other like styles of music? Yeah, absolutely, man. We fuck with it all, really. I mean, we're coming from the West Coast. I'm heavily influenced by the West Coast. From a kid, that was the first shit that I loved. Then this, I discovered the East Coast shit, like, later in high school. And, you know what I mean? So then I fell in love with some of the shit there. Then the South was bringing some fire shit. They got their own style. So I feel like, you know, for me, it's it, it doesn't matter what the sound is or what genre of box or whatever people try to fit it into. You know what I mean? Because now, at this point, there's... There's just so many styles that I feel like mesh together so that's beautifully. What I was say. We you all mean, know it's really give our respect to the that's East what Coast. That's what music is. It ain't no East Coast West shit, but it's hella styles out here on the West that motherfuckers have not reached. Tapped into. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out Mike and Nine, AC Alone, Peak Self Jupiter, Freestyle Fellowship. Mm -hmm. Styles. You, know you, know can, you can hear their yeah. shit all throughout. You know what I mean? A lot of the the, the, the newcomers and from from the history till now, and it's it's made a made a big impact. So. And then as an MC too, for for myself, you know what I mean? I I, I came from a, a era, but I came from my, my personal experience. You know what I mean? In this, one foot in the streets, one foot in this, in this abstract hip hop shit. And my main goal was to try and figure out a way to get these niggas in the street to listen to the, the shit that people that fans of underground listen to as well, you know what I mean? It would be a lot of times I'd go to, to like the hood or something like that, and I would play a tape that I was inspired by by niggas from the underground hip hop scene. I'd play that shit for them, the niggas would be like, oh, I'll turn that shit off, you know what I mean? All that other type of shit, and vice versa. So I, my, my main thing was to always try to bridge a cap to where Put both sides can fuck that shit. But as an MC, nigga, I could rap to any motherfucking thing. Well, it's just like KRS one say, nigga, I got a motherfucking rhyme for every nigga that's on the yeah. top ten every year. Yeah. And, real, and real shit to too, it's to like anything. straight up, that's it's like do, you know, big love to the I'm east as well. But even for me, I, f I feel like for me too, it's it's like I, I am the LA grimy version of of the New York grime shit. You know what I mean? That shit was a heavy influence on me. I love all of that shit. But I, me being rooted in LA and my original styles and vibe coming from LA, it, it, uh, it becomes a, kind of an interesting lane. And that's kind of my lane is the LA grimy rap, which could be comparable to their shit, but it's just the West Coast version of it. You know? Our shit, I so mean, myself, to them, I consider stuff. myself up the streets. But still lyricism though, like corrupt. Yeah, you know super what I'm saying? Lyricist. Like, like uh, yeah, crooked yeah. eye. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like RBX and shit. There's niggas out here that can spit that, you know, that get, went through some troubles in their life, this time or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But the, the music and the pen is always going. Mm -hmm. So what's your inspiration for like when you go to the studio and write your music? What do you guys think about like when you're writing? I don't write my music in a I get write thoughts all day. I can't shut it off. I write a few bars here, a few bars there, a few, you know, it, it's non-stop. 
know? Yeah. I like to write all the time too, but sometimes we'll write in the studio as well. I mean, that shit, really, yeah. it's just whatever, man. Like whatever say, life, right life here, inspires us, you know what I mean? We got good chemistry like, when life. it comes to making music. We got life, good ass chemistry. We, we, we can comfortable bouncing ideas off each other. I didn't did music with both of It works cats. good, yeah. And it's a, the work dynamic is through the roof. The synergy is dope. You know what I'm saying? We got some here. Shit just comes you know, out. Watch the fuck out. So we gotta watch the fuck out. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, well, for me, for me, too, it all depends on what it is that I'm trying to do. Like, if I'm like, well, I'm about to put together a project and, and I'm pick out a certain type of beats or whatever, it just all depends on what the beats sound like. Whatever the beats sound like, the shit just write itself. If I'm feeling the beat, that shit, just, I just come up with a topic, a hook, and I just let it write itself. But sometimes, if yeah, I'm not working on a project as an MC, yeah. sometimes I'll be writing shit without beats. You know what I mean? Right. I might just jot some shit down. And then sometimes the shit that I write without beats match to anything. It might be sometimes when you might get yeah, put on the spot. Yeah, pocket, super yeah, yeah, you might get put on the spot. He always got good song ideas and, and shit, shit too. This yeah. like, and niggas just gotta always be the ready. general ideas and the choruses, he always got some yeah. cool it's shit. It's just some MC shit. Yeah, yeah it all comes, like, it comes together. Like, right. So what's your overall goal with music? My right, well, overall goal is to establish myself and gain the respect and get to where I could live comfortably off of my music at the same time without compromising my artistic qualities too much. I don't want to paint myself into one corner. I like to think of myself as versatile, you know what I'm saying? But my my heart lies with bar work, you know. I am uh, I understand the process of like, with dealing with CR, he's good with coming up with hooks and chants and shit like that. His music is, is like inviting. You know what I'm saying? Me, myself, I got a habit of just like going real brainy and writing out some shit. Yeah, real comfortable. Super bar. Shit. Yeah. Some MC Super shit. Bar work. Yeah, MC shit. And it balances out and As shit. As you should. Yeah. So do you think it's better to be a signed artist or independent artist? I think both works. Yeah, you know both what I mean? Work. Both, both work. works. Independent work is dope if you create a buzz and, and get big. You both can make work. enough traction. But sometimes it's dope awesome. to have a you know yeah, a major good label back if the deal is you right. You can have a fucked up deal. I'm not good with them. trapping myself into some shit though. Yeah. Like kind of how I Nip did it. He came to the table with something. And it was a business agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't, part of shit. Be, what, it wasn't like no sign it, it was a partnership. Yeah, it wasn't a no. contract. Yeah. He knew his worth before stepping to the table. I think the new age music industry works that way, where let's say instead of being signed as an artist somewhere, each project on its own can kind of be considered a... a partnership? Right. You know, yeah, old, nigga, I'm where you can take it to this company because they're going to do the nigga. best job with this single. Or, you know what I'm saying, this, and you take vid certain videos or whatever to other places. You know? Nigga, fuck all My goal so. is to be the top of this shit. Whoever's at the top, nigga, watch out, nigga. That's we coming, nigga. Yeah, that's yeah, my, yeah. that's the goal. To be at the top. Fuck the plan, all that. What he table. said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be, oh, yeah, well, oh, oh you, you getting did. paid off your bit? Nigga, I work as a security guard, nigga. And I'm a better rapper than I am a security guard. Fuck right. that. I'm trying to be the best. Whoever's at the top, nigga, watch out. Cause what I'm trying, my, my job is to knock you out your position. Snoop Dogg, whoever. No disrespect to them, but nigga, I'm trying to be in their position yeah. as a rapper. I ain't got no time to be playing none of this shit, shit, bro. Too, okay. Straight up, I'm fuck, nigga. I don't like going to work every day. Yeah, and for me, and I know for I'm me. a better rapper. Than, I know I'm a better rapper than a goddamn security guard. Right. God damn it. That's real. Yeah, yeah we're trying to make it right really now. Yeah, if you know, I slap that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm just focusing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, for, for me, it's, you know, it's the music's the most important to me. I think, you know, what I mean, for me, so I don't have no crazy ulterior motive over it or nothing like that. I just kind of wanna, you know, get our music out to the world and ears to hear it and respect it on a respect level, mostly because I feel like you know the the shit that we put together is very professional and it's. It it deserves uh, it deserves more ears on it. You know what I mean. So I just feel like that's that's my my goal is just get our shit out there so more and more ears can hear. It. Cause we I feel like crowds will relate to our shit, um, and just like we relate to them. It's all about real shit. You know what let, I mean. Let me ask you each, on this. each one of us talk about some real shit in our own sense in our own life, where you can connect with certain bars. With each person, you know what I mean. When is this interview sense. gonna come out? When is this interview gonna come out? Oh. Sure, probably like a week from now. So is it gonna be before the twenty eighth? Probably, yeah. Okay, well, nigga, y'all think it's a game? Nigga, pull up to the Jizzle <laughs> show. <laughs> we the, with the Jizzle. We are opening for Jizzle. Yeah. This is on the twenty eighth of this yeah, month. Man. Pull up. So, pull the fuck up. And, and, we got and, a special and, and surprise guest. 
You guys have to tune in to see what the special surpri- surprise guest is and shit. You guys have anything else planned for these next few months other than that? Oh. Yeah, straight up, man. We just talking about that. So basically, after the Jizza show, we gonna we got a hits fest with Princess Bastion. So shout out her. She put into a dope event together. Um, after that, we go to Air- Arizona. Arizona. Uh, uh, we are gonna be performing out there at Trill Hip Hop Factory. Uh, it's uh, Johnny's birthday. We are gonna be out there celebrating this shit. And After that, that, to live and die in LA. Then we got to live. Oh, this yeah. is CR guy's show, to live and die LA, huge LA festival. We're gonna be able to perform out there. And then after that, it's a Fresno. Uh, and then, and then up to Fresno, yeah. Yeah, with yeah, Wicks, yeah. yeah. With Wicks, yeah. So that's our next four or five shows coming up in the next few months and shit. Starting off with the Jizzle one, so. So yeah. you guys have merch. I see you have the West Coast Creations hat. Or- yeah, man. Uh, we always. Got our table at any of the shows and shit's online. You can hit any of us up like on the IG Definitely. and shit like um, that. I know? got <clears throat> I got some Food merch on my uh, my Instagram. Um, I got some shirts that I designed and shit. I got a lot of graffiti art I did around the city of LA. I'm UTI KWS CMA RTN. What's dope and, uh, is that we you know we all got our own shit and anytime any you know artwork, I mean? digital wall work, aerosol, yeah. whatever. Like, this fool got his own shit, he got his own merch, I got my own merch, and then we got the West Coast Creation shit, you know, coming from the boys, you know what I mean, so. What's your, uh, what's your guys' website for the West Coast uh, Creations? It's, uh, you can go uh, on IG, go to West Coast Creations, the Creations just spelled with a K. Man, Dopey, come, like come, 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 come in, man, come in, Dopey, come in, Dopey, come in, come in, come right quick. Sit right there, man. Have me on, What you tell him, what is it? What you tell his mom for the man? Dope. West Coast Creations, BigCartel.com. Let's go, baby. So um, what's, what's some advice that you would give to a newcomer coming to the game? Don't stop. Keep yeah, going. Don't stop. Fuck with somebody. Yeah. Tell you, if you feel like your shit dope, and, yeah. and even if it's one person that likes your shit, and it's shit. 20 people that don't like your shit, if, just keep catering to that one motherfucker yeah. and turn that motherfucker, that one motherfucker into a million motherfuckers. Fuck what a motherfucker music, talking music about. Fuck so the energy. Keep going, you know nigga. Saying? Yeah, consistency is Don't key. stop, nigga. And you know what I mean? It's like... In the game, you, you, we've witnessed so, so many times where the worst rapper has become the best rapper. Like over a span of a career where you get, you, you got know what I'm niggas, saying? There's so come. much room to grow. Yeah. Just keep going some and keep niggas, digging in. Niggas shit. be like, oh, he got into the fucking music. They, so, the some, music's what's important. Yeah, but sometimes yeah. the hustle, the hustle, your hustle too. What, what, yeah. Where's that fire rat in you? Nigga, where, where is it? Yeah, if you, you gotta, gotta any, have that If you gotta need doubts in yourself, you need to step the fuck off, nigga. My advice is straight up, nigga. Kill the fucking social media. Present yourself professionally. Get yeah. some visuals behind your audio. You then then the social media will come. That's a good you know, point. Keep it too. consistent. Yeah. Stay working. Stay, you know, grinding. Yeah, keep going. Keep fuck with, fuck the negative shit. Keep going, nigga. Keep yeah. going, boy. Don't stop. Keep going. Don't never give up. I'm, nigga, I'm 45 years old. Still rapping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else you guys want to say? Any shout outs or anything? Shit, peace, peace to everybody. Come check us out online. West Coast Creations with a K. I'm Patrick Antonian. Just the way it's phonetically spelled. Hit us up. Come to our shows if you're in LA. You know what I'm saying? I want to shout out Pro Project Blow, Good Life Community. I want to shout out the Under the Influence crew. Kings with style crew, the Rockin' the Nation crew, and the criminal minded artist crew, TVU. Shout out, Mr. CR. When you go to YouTube, it's M-I-S-T-E-R, you know, CR. <laughs> and look, man, go check out Jason Voorhees, and I just dropped one today called Jason Lives. Ooh, Jason Voorhees featuring Patrick Antonio, and Jason Lives is out right now, man. You won't regret it. Guarantee you that. Thank y'all. Thank you. Good looking,